Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making these beautiful purple cloud resin coasters. But first I wanted to show you this gorgeous ruby red slipper keychain that I made. Um, if you want to see how I make these, I will link that video down below in the description. I just wanted to show you guys how pretty this one turned out. I used the liquid diamonds resin and red jubilee holographic glitter and coral shimmer glitter from Laura's Art Corner. Uh, she has a store on Facebook with all kinds of glitter and resin pigments and all kinds of stuff for your art So be sure to go check her out and you can use discount code TISH 10% to get some extra savings But I just really love how this one turned out I wanted to show you guys because I just absolutely love that holographic red jubilee glitter It's so pretty, but let me know what colors I should make down in the comments so let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be using the ClearCast 7050 resin from the Epoxy Resin Store on these coasters. I'm just adding a little bit of clear to the center because I'm going to be going in with the Sparkle Diamonds, and these are also from Laura's store. They're acrylic diamonds that don't lose their shine under resin. And I'm also going to be using the Lares Expressions Angel White Epoxy Paste. That's my favorite white. It's a nice opaque white, and it'll give you cells and lacing if you want to make ocean waves but I love to use it for my flower coasters and that's what I was trying to do on these I was trying to make flowers but I ended up adding a little bit too much white but but I ended up getting a really nice cloudy effect so I was happy about that now I'm going to go in with the supernova glitz and glam pigment also from Laura's store it's a really gorgeous purple glittery pigment it's not glitter and it's not mica powder it's kind of in between and it gives you just a really nice subtle sparkle and I had tried to color my resin with some alcohol ink and I had never seen this happen before what I did was add one drop to my clear cup of resin and it started to get chunky like it just wouldn't mix in and I was like what in the world I had never seen that happen before and I had asked a few other artists if if they've had that happen and they said yes so that's why I went in with the glitz and glam pigment to kind of sort of counteract the little chunky bits and I had poured two three ounce cups of clear and I was like well I'm not gonna waste this resin you know because resins are too expensive to waste so I just added some of the supernova and went with it so as you could see, I just went in with that angel white and made some flower designs. I ended up adding way too much white. Um, I did a previous set of flower coasters. I'll link that one down below too. And I only used a tiny bit of the white and they turned out really pretty. So be sure to check that video out. I went in with the heat gun on high, or sorry, low heat. Never want to go in on high because that can melt your mold. And that was it. Covered them up for 24 hours and let them dry. And now we're re ready to demold them. But check it out. I think the back side, the, which is what you're seeing here, is really soft and wispy. That side looks like a flower. This side kind of just has the more of like a cloudy look. And here's a nice close-up of them and some better lighting. I just love, see the shimmer? That's from the Supernova Glitz and Glam pigment. And then you can also see those sparkle diamonds really sparkling under there. But see those little streaks and chunks? That's from the alcohol ink. I was like, what in the world? I don't, I don't know why that happened. I've never had that happen before because, you know, I've made Petri dish, dish resin coasters and I've never had it just get chunky like it wouldn't mix in. I think maybe the ink had gone bad or something. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have ever had that happen. So here's what the back side looks like. They're just really soft and pretty from the back. And then on the front, check it out. See how much depth and dimension is in there? There is just lots of fun details. So I like the front side too. It's just a little bit different. It wasn't what I was going for, but you know, with resin you have to go with the flow. And you can see that pretty sparkle from the front side too. So let me know which side you guys prefer, either the this side, the cloudy look, or the back side. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. And if you did, go ahead and leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button. And I'll link all the supplies I use down below in the description, along with any coupon codes that I have. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you on Monday for another video. Bye.